you are a modern day Lazarus risen from the grave to answer the eternal question, what's on the other side? I'm sorry, who are you again? Uh, you'll have to forgive him, Mr. Masters. He's very excitable. Well, excuse me if I find pulling back the curtain on what happens when we die just a tad exciting. Was there a white light or is it more of a, a tunnel thing? The last thing I remember, I was taking my pills, trying to get my cable fixed, and then I woke up to an apartment full of police. So no out-of-body experience. Do you have any enemies? Me? No. I'm an average guy. I go to work. I come home. But you dream of so much more, don't you? How do you know that? Did you read my diary? No, I saw your pictures on your... Wait, you keep a diary? As a grown man, call it a journal. What about work? Have you upset anyone there recently? Yeah. There is this guy that works for me. Well, used to work for me. Dave Barton, I had to fire him because he was letting serious infractions slide with just a warning. Was it for money? That was the rumor, and he did seem a little miffed when I let him go. I'll play you the message that he left me. You slimy little maggot. I'm going to stab you with a rusty spoon and strangle you with your own intestines. Or better yet, I'm going to force feed you your toes one by one, and then I'm going to light you on fire. And then first, I'm going to paralyze you with a claw hammer and then cover you with ants. You son of a bitch! Then it goes on and on like that for a while. And you never thought to call the police? On Dave? No! He's just got a big personality. What can I say? 